Hello, this is Stephen Dunn. I'm the trumpet professor at Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, I've prepared a packet of basic materials uh, designed primarily for high school students, but anybody who wants to work on their basics on trumpet. Um, I've been working on this for over 30 years, and uh, these materials are very common to those that many teachers use. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to present uh, what I know, or the most essential things I know about basics, uh, within the next 10 minutes, so you'll have this to accompany the packet. If you don't already have a packet, you can email me at stephen.dunn at nau.edu, and I will send you the, the PDF of the packet. So let's begin with the preliminary exercises. I should say that there are six different sections to this packet. And my recommendation is that all students practice one of the six areas every single day. And hopefully this will lead you to have such strong basics on the trumpet that you'll be able to play any kind of music you want to. So the preliminary exercises are the things that I've added most recent to my own practice and uh, with my students. And the only reason I do them is that they, they hardly take any time and I feel like I find my sensitivity faster. I get into my best tone faster in a day. And they're very easy. The first one I call a five note exercise. And I basically produce that tone um, in three different ways. And then I have four more tones, the first five notes of the uh, C scale for trumpet. So here's a B flat. Produce it with my lips. Air attack on the mouthpiece. And then a T, regular attack on the trumpet. And usually by the time I do the first two, as I've shown you, then it's right there in my lips. I do the same thing with D, E, F, G, and that's my preliminary. But the other type is something I've been doing for less than a year, and I love this exercise. It's the HPT attack exercise. I start on the G. And I go down chromatically, sometimes all the way to F sharp. That might take five minutes, but sometimes I only have a minute or two to do this. So I play the G with my most beautiful sound, easy, soft, flowing. Air attack or an H attack. Here's the P. The lips literally blow open. Toughest one to make sound good. And then the T attack usually sounds good after those two. A little crunched, but on all of them, you want to have the, your immediate sound at the very beginning, the full sound, uh, even though it's soft. So uh, that leads us to long tones, which are things that I've also been doing for many, many years. And what I think is helpful with this is this very simple breathing exercise. Breathe in with a little bit of resistance, then blow out, not necessarily like the tuba players who invented this exercise, but more like a trumpet. So it'll take 10 to 15 seconds to exhale. And this is the kind of blowing you want to emulate when you do this first long tone study. And I'm constantly just tweaking my lips or tweaking um, my, my tongue sometimes, and sometimes the airspeed, just to get it to sound good the whole time. I want the ring and I want to center the notes. This is not one where you check out mentally, but you're always thinking and trying to improve the sound as you play, and of course, keeping that free blowing going. I want to explain the other exercises uh, in the long tones because they um, might be new to some of the people watching this video. So this one has uh, lip bends, um, number two, exercise number two. <coughs> and what we want to do is center. After we bend, we come back. We want to go to the center and then center of the next note. Um, goes like this. And of course, 
course, you can transpose that up as it's done in the book. Um, and the last one is just a basic uh, melody of a scale and an arpeggio at the very end. And this one's uh, just for transferring the sound. to transfer the sound wherever it goes. If, if the ones that are a little bit higher go down two octaves. The third area of um, different types of exercises are our flexibility studies. And for these, I want you to keep two things in mind. First of all, quick connections uh, between different harmonics. They don't, you don't have to play quickly, but have quick connections. The second thing to keep in mind is the same quality of sound. I have so many students that do this initially. top notes sound dead, so you want to listen for that ring. Uh, the third exercise on here goes like this. I think about the ring on the low D and the ring on the middle D. And the fourth area of exercises is what I like the most and what I practice the most. They are flow studies. And uh, the idea on this is that you flow freely. You might go, change your airspeed, change your aperture to smaller as you go higher. But um, basically, the sound doesn't stop. So this is the second study. Um, it's based on um, a scale of thirds. range from kind of pretty easy to some pretty challenging things. And if, if we play them in the middle register, we usually sound pretty good, but we want to take that up to where we are less comfortable. And that's the reason that they're transposed into every key. So you can either skip by step, by half step, minor third, something regular so that you are taking your same level of playing into the more or the less comfortable registers of the trumpet. Okay, the next area is articulation, and we use these basically like flow studies that have the tongue going as well. Now, um, when we practice articulation, I think it's a great idea to keep the air going. Obviously, sometimes when we play trumpet, we do have to bump, bump, stop the air. But I usually hear um, in younger players a lot of this. <laughs> And what you want to develop is a constant airstream, and the tongue doesn't really stop the air. It just rides on the airstream. So the first exercise, you really have to coordinate the valves as, as, as well as everything else to make a nice sound. section uh, is, is melodic studies. Now, for years and years, uh, we've, there are so many great Bordoni, Conconi, uh, so many melodies that work really well on trumpet. I just wrote four out. Um, but the idea is that we just kind of don't think so much about the basics 
in terms of the mechanics that we've been using, but we play um, really with free air, and we just think of the quality of sound and the, the, the musicianship that we want from it. So I'm just going to play one of these. I'm going to play uh, Shenandoah. And with that, I'll, I'll leave you after that. And I hope you enjoy this packet. So please feel free to email me if you have any questions. Here's Shenandoah.